moving on, we got this clip courtesy of Kodak Black talking about um, his recent arrest. Kodak Black was recently arrested, and um, the story that came out was that he was arrested with um, cocaine possession, and allegedly he tried to swallow some of the drugs he had on him, other drugs, and not in just cocaine, and so he could not, you know, so the police couldn't find it. He eventually, obviously, made bail, but now he was on live stream trying to clear up what he was actually arrested for and his clarification is very interesting because it's a very odd way to like clarify and justify what happened because i feel like at some point you have to realize that all drugs are bad right this is coming from somebody that parties at myself but all drugs are bad so having a hierarchy of what's bad and what's you know what's bad and what's not so bad is odd but it's even more so odd when you hear the exact choice that he kind of you know stipulates on Let's hear Kodak Black explain why he got arrested and clear up the rumours around what drugs he had on him. I was on the lean, homie. I was on the lean. I was sleeping in front of my family house, bro. And that's it. I was on, I was on that drink, sleeping in front of my people's house. But it ain't, and that ain't illegal. And that ain't illegal. I mean, so all that, that shit just the process the process that it had to be in other mo in other mud shot the process that even though like it bogus as fuck they come plastered all over the internet then on, on top of that it's like bro like i'm haitian i mean and then it's just like my error or my error that shit, bro like yeah no nah, like man you got you better off saying that okay you drunk you drink lean you smoke weed or dead my little whatever type shit even though that ain't that ain't cool, that ain't cool in itself. None of this shit cool, I mean, but to be talking about cocaine, come on, man, hell, fuck no, bro. So, in case you haven't realized what you said, he said he wasn't actually caught with cocaine. He said he was caught with lean. He said he was nodding out in front of his parents' house or somebody's house, and he got caught having lean on him. Now, in my personal opinion, I don't know about you guys. But wouldn't you think lean is just as bad as coke? Wouldn't you think liquid heroin that causes you issues when it comes to fucking, you know, stomach issues and whatnot? Who's this guy? Um, Who's the guy with fucking Chief Keef? I forgot his name. Fredo Santana. Fredo Santana died because of his excessive, you know, drinking of lean, right? One of the byproducts of his fucking whatever thing that happened to him was because obviously the, the lean he drank. So for him to say that somehow the lean that he got you know caught with that got him in a state where he was nodding off to, to the point where the police had to arrest him was a far better thing than coke is strange isn't it and i would really like to know what is it about and i think it happens in the uk too we have the same issue in the uk when it comes to like crack and shit right why do black people in general have such a weird taboo around coke but then they're perfectly okay with drinking a lot smoking a lot of weed doing a lot of pills like molly and whatever it may be doing stuff like lean and in the uk we have an epidemic or a pandemic with what's happening with fucking um fucking balloons whippets right what you guys called whippets and shit um to the point where the government had to fucking make balloons and helium gas and all that shit fucking illegal so now i think it's a if i'm not mistaken helium is a category b drug now so you could basically get arrested for it before it was something you couldn't get arrested for but now it's a category b it's a class a it's a class b drug sorry heliums and whippets people are literally becoming paralyzed because they're doing too many balloons you know they're getting paralyzed people are getting fucking helium whatever canisters they're putting them into fucking balloons sucking them in and out one one day when I was coming back from, exactly, Nitrous, yeah, when I was coming back from um, the shops, to do my little weekly shop, I saw a group of kids coming out of a car, right? And these kids, I swear to God, they were probably under the age of 25. They were all coming out of a car um, and he was dropping off his friend at, a at the station near me and they all had balloons in their hands, including the driver. So these kids are driving, driving while high on fucking Nitrous. Imagine. And that's a, it's a standard thing. So they're drinking, they're smoking, they're doing dabs, they're doing fucking, you know, tabs of acid, whatever they're doing. And they're also doing nitrous oxide. But Coke is too much. Crack is too much. It's like, bro, all of this stuff is bad. All drugs are fucking bad. You should, you know, not do any of them, really. If you actually want to have a clear mind, if you actually want to make sure that you stay alive to look after your family, look after yourself, you should not do any drugs. So to have some sort of hierarchy, like, as if like weed and pills and lean is better than coke is so redacted.
Hell no. Nah. And I ain't even, I ain't finna say I'm against who do coke. I'm just there, you know, man. I say they trying to put you on powder because you powerful, please. Man, I ain't doing that shit. I tell, I tell God himself I do perks. You know what I'm saying? And shit like that. But that, and then them, them was my medicine prescribed to me. I will honestly say that. So he does perks, medicine prescribed to him. He also has admitted, because I'm a big fan of Kodak, he's admitted he does a lot of molly. And if you know anybody that does molly, nobody does MDMA, one thing you could say is that Kodak Black definitely looks like somebody that does a lot of MDMA and molly, right? His joy is always swinging. He's very twitchy. It's usually a common, you know, thing that you see somebody that does a lot of molly. He might probably do a lot of Xanax as well, I'd probably imagine, right? So all those things are perfectly fine. But when somebody puts Coke on his name, suddenly he gets offended. It's so bizarre, isn't it? It's so fucking interesting. Like, as, as like, like, even before I had got, got, got shot and I had got prescribed to it, to him again and shit like that, I could say, like, I had started, like, you know, damn, a uh, bruise and shit too, I mean, and I'm working on myself. I'm working right now. I mean, I paid 350000 like, $350,000 and shit to, like, to get clean and get better. You feel me? Like, Okay, big up um, Assad. Appreciate you, brother. Assad says, um, Yak is a Florida boy. Prescription drugs are everywhere in Florida. What he's saying, he's he doesn't do coke because it's not a pharmaceutical drug. It's not illegal. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's actually really, that makes a lot of sense. I see what you mean. I, I get I get what he's saying also. Um, he doesn't do the, or he's doing stuff that's prescribed to him because he has issues and shit. I get it. But I, again, it's just more so a, I just wanted to highlight this because I see this a lot, even in the UK, especially within the Caribbean community. They are super against any kind of drug outside of weed, but then they smoke a ton of it and they also drink a lot. And some of them usually beat, their, beat up their wives. So it's like, you know, you're okay with fucking domestic violence. <laughs> you're okay with loads of weed. You're okay with alcoholism, but the coke and crack, you, you draw a line underneath that. Okay. Oh, no, like, uh, am, am, I pe am I people know that I've never been a type of to run from no run from issues that I know I'm how to face. I look that shit head on and catch a hold on to it, shit like that. On I mean, it, and then times like I done went to rehab by myself, like with no without court appointment, without the court having to tell me to do that. Just me wanting to battle for myself, me knowing like bitch, I got children, woman, and it's like I'm I have to be here for them. I have to, but it's also must be unfortunate because i'm sure kodak has a very natural naturally sketchy twitchy disposition anyway right but you can't help but thinking whenever you look at code yak speaking kodak speaking it's just you know it's the like you're seeing what the everyday effects are of doing a lot of drugs right being because imagine he's what in his mid-20s he's a millionaire multi-millionaire he's one of the greatest artists of his generation He's got access to everything that he needs. It's quite near on impossible to not do the amount of drugs that he does, really. Especially when you consider where he lives as well, where he's from, sorry, in Florida, right? You'd imagine the stuff they get there is pretty, pretty pure, right? <laughs> it's probably some good shit they get there. You're doing that stuff in the sun, surrounded by fake titties and fake bums, right? Good music. It's hard not to turn that down. I get it. It's a beat up, Hell, and I never had enough time on the streets to even be no junkie. Like, I go to rehab, no, I go to jail, no detox. I don't even fucking detox. I don't go through withdrawals and none of that shit. I ain't no baby. I ain't no junkie out here. Kodak saying he's not a junkie is hilarious, especially him getting angry at the four people thinking he's a junkie. His whole image is that he's a junkie. I, I don't know. I kind of like Kodak for that. He has that kind of you know fog junkie image thing going on it's not a bad thing he, he, he can still he will still I, I think at a moment's notice knock your head off your shoulders you know what i mean if he had if he has a glizzy on him if he has the fucking you know the power power on him he'll definitely knock your head off your shoulders so it's not like he's not a dangerous guy but he definitely gives me you know gangster junkie type of vibes you know what i mean gangster j you know gj i ain't no junkie not playing with me you know what i mean and i so ain't gonna lie, my I'm intelligent, you know what I mean? Anyway, Kodak is not happy with people putting coke on his name. He says he only does lean, he only does molly. Um, he's prescribed Percocets. If it's not prescription drug, he doesn't do them. 
but it seems like he also pours Percocets into his Nesquicks. That's what it seems like. It seems like when he's pouring out his cereal in the morning, before he puts in the milk, he pours in some Perks, puts the milk in, and then has a bit of a ride. Do you know what I mean? Has a bit of a fun time. Just, you know, taking a wild ride, never knowing what spoonful is going to contain all the Perks or is going to contain all the cereal. He seems like that kind of guy. He seems like that kind of guy. But again, what do I know? You know? What do I know? What the fuck do I fucking know? But yeah, exactly. Florida's got that pure, pure. Exactly. Sarlax knows. Sarlax knows. Florida's got that fucking pure, pure. That good, good. 